see how crunchy they are. another episode of Kendall's Corner. Today I am going to use this chickpeas that you're seeing here. We in the Caribbean will call this chana. It's also chickpeas. I am going to fry this. So after frying it normally you would put salt or you can put any dry herbs and spices on these chickpeas once it is hot and finished frying. So I am going to try a few of Caribbean flavors seasoning and toss it in this fried chana once once I'm finished frying the chana I'm going to put all those ingredients together and see how it comes out so the products that I'm going to use from Caribbean flavors are as follows I'm going to use some oregano and I'm going to use some cilantro I am going to use some pepper flakes, chili flakes, and I am going to use Caribbean flavors thyme, and I am going to also use the parsley and the smoked paprika. Also, I'm also going to use the salt. So all of the seasoning that I am using for the chana that I'm going to fry, or chickpeas that I'm about to fry, would be Caribbean flavors. They have an awesome line of seasoning. You can check them out. They ship internationally. So don't forget to check out their website. I will leave the link in the description so you can go and check out the variety of products that they carry. So come along in the kitchen as we use this chickpeas and all of Caribbean flavors seasoning that I just mentioned and put together this awesome snack. Let's go. And of course, embarrassingly enough, I forget to mention black pepper. So do forgive me. I am also using a Caribbean flavor, black pepper. Now I have all the ingredients. I'm going to mix them up together and then I decide to use the peppercorn instead of the crushed pepper, still Caribbean flavors. And I add all of the seasoning to the black pepper and I'm going to mix it in well, make sure everything is properly well incorporated. As I said, you can adjust the salt and the pepper to suit you. So now let's move on to how we prepare the chana. Alright, let's get started with the chickpeas. Okay, so we finished put the seasoning together that we're going to use on the chana once we have finished frying it. So now, after having the chana soaking for more than 5 hours, now it's best, I would suggest, that you leave it soaking overnight. But for this video purpose, I left this so soaking for at least 5 to 6, almost 6 hours, right? I had the chana soaking and I started putting the little thing season that we're going to put on the chana in about 5 between five to ten minutes before this video that I'm doing here right now right so now I am going to strain out the water from the chana I am going to show you what it looks like before soaking it and after soaking it and then we are going to place it on a tea towel paper towel a paper towel that is thick enough that you're not going to absorb the water and not rip apart because you don't want pieces of paper fry and you don't want to eat fried paper Correct is right. So let us go drain out the chana and dry them on a piece of paper towel and then we're going to start frying the chana. So let's get started putting the chana together now and we will get back with a taste test. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm going to 
take out our paper towels and line it up but firstly let me show you what it looks like once it has soaked you see how much it has swollen in that water it had it has absorbed so much water and this is what it looks like before soaking you see how small the chana is before soaking now let's drain it on the paper towel as i said you can use a tea towel but paper towel you use this it's going to depend less work you know <laughs> anything to make your life less stressed so once i place all of it on the tea towel to just remove the excess water because remember this is oil oil and water don't mix and i am going to add my oil and to test to make sure the oil is ready what i would do is take a back of a wooden spoon and check once it is bubbling you sure it is ready so at this point it's not overly heated and i let my oil build slowly though i don't ever have a high fire on my oil so i'm going to place it in and i'm going to just keep stirring it around and try not to burn it and that is the whole purpose of not overheating your oil but slowly let the oil build up in heat so you don't want to have the fire too high to let this cook and to let the oil get heated and you don't want to add too much to cool down the oil just enough to keep the oil at a certain temperature and you want to keep stirring it around and this is the nice golden color that I like and then I'm going to apply the seasoning and mix it around make sure all of the seasoning is coated well and you want to do this when it is hot so the seasoning will attach itself to all that oil and all that goodness on the chana and you enjoy now let's give it a taste all right so let's give it a try and see how crunchy they are mm-hmm Job well done. And the seasoning combination, awesome. Awesome. This was a success. Thanks for watching, guys. Do hope you give it a try. And don't forget to check out the link for Caribbean flavors in the description. Come again.